Hi folks, welcome back to the channel. Today I'll be doing a review on the IXS Trigger FF. The Trigger FF is a full face trail enduro helmet. It's available in three different sizes and a range of different colours. You can get this helmet with or without MIPS. There's also a few other features to this helmet which I will go through as the video goes on. It shouldn't be too difficult to get one of these helmets to fit your head. They're available in three different sizes, an extra small, a small medium and a medium large. The cradle is adjustable by using a little wheel at the back of the helmet. That system is incredibly secure, it does not slip. It's also very easy to use whilst you're riding. That cradle is adjustable upwards and downwards. The chin strap, as with every other helmet out there, is also adjustable. That features a fidlock buckle. My head is 58 centimeters in circumference and I'm using a medium large. The first thing you'll notice about this helmet is the weight or lack of it. It's incredibly lightweight. It doesn't feel bulky or heavy on your head at all. My helmet weighs in at 667 grams, which for a full face helmet is incredible. It's only 240 grams heavier than my open face. And to be honest, I don't really notice the difference when switching between the two. The second thing you'll notice about this helmet is the ventilation. It is extremely, extremely good. There's vents at the front of the helmet, the side of the helmet and the back of the helmet, aiding air flow through to your head to keep it cool and help prevent it from getting sweaty. This is particularly useful on those warmer days and when you're moving slower, but still putting a lot of effort in, there just isn't the need to take your helmet off all the time to let your head cool down. The cradle on this helmet hugs your head really, really well and evenly. There's nowhere where it digs into your head in a particular spot, making it uncomfortable. The helmet is really secure when you've got it fitted to your head. It doesn't wobble around or shake about at all, even over the rough stuff. The padding is pretty comfortable and you can remove the padding to wash it if you need to. The helmet also comes with a spare set of cheek pads in the pack when you buy it new. The chin strap buckle on this helmet is a Fidlock buckle, which is a magnetic buckle. Now this is my first helmet with a Fidlock buckle and to be honest at first I was a little bit concerned it was going to kind of stick itself together the wrong way around and not be secure. This is possible but in reality it just doesn't happen. The helmet has snapped itself together nice and securely every single time. It's super easy to do up, you can take it off and put it on with just one hand. If you wear goggles like me, you can flick the visor up on this helmet and store your goggles just below the visor. Super useful for when you don't need them, like when you're chatting to your mates or riding up the banks. There's also a little rubber mount at the back of the helmet to hold your goggle strap in place to stop them sliding off and getting lost. With this being a full face helmet, the protection is fantastic. There's coverage right the way around your head. There's nowhere that feels particularly vulnerable that might get injured in the event of a crash. You can get this helmet with or without MIPS. I've gone for that option as it adds that bit more protection. If you're not entirely sure what MIPS is, I will put a quick explanation of it down in the description below. This helmet also has a visor to help protect your eyes from the sun. Now that visor is very secure, it doesn't move around at all when you're riding. It's also very well ventilated, that helps prevent that kite effect of the helmet getting pulled around when you're riding through strong winds or when you're riding particularly fast. As this helmet has a matte finish, I was expecting it to show up things like scratches and sweaty hand marks really, really quickly. But that has not been the case. The helmet has held up really, really well. Everything is exactly as it should be and working perfectly. There's only a couple of small scratches from general wear and tear. Overall, if you want a lightweight, well-ventilated, full-face helmet, then this would be a fantastic choice. 
If you're riding World Cup downhill tracks all day, I'd maybe look at something a bit more heavy duty. But for general trail and enduro riding with a bit of downhill, this thing is perfect. It's well thought out, it's functional. The only thing I can mark it down on is the fact it doesn't come with a GoPro mount as standard. I've solved that problem though by fitting a 3D printed mount to the chin. So I hope you guys have found this video useful. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe and I will see you in the next one.